Hello, this is Doug Gerlach from iClub Central. Today is August 15th, 2023. And the question tonight is, how's your investment club's watch list going? Uh, do you have a lot of stocks on it that you're keeping track of, waiting for those buy opportunities to come in? Or maybe your watch list strategy isn't fully formed yet, in which case tonight's webinar should help you to manage your club's watch list to create it. And we'll also be demonstrating some of the new tools that we've created at my iClub.com that can help you and your investment club in managing its watch list of stocks for your club's portfolio. Joining me tonight in the back office are Russell Malley, who is our official club accounting advisor for iClub Central, and Sean Polrang, who's our lead technical support uh, rep for the investment club aspect of our business. There is a handout of my slides from tonight's presentation that you can download from the handouts tab in the GoToWebinar our application. Also look for the questions box there and you can type your questions in and I'll do my best to answer as many of those as we can throughout the presentation. Russell and Sean also be helping out answering questions in the background. So before we demonstrate the features in my iClub that support investment club watch list. Let's talk about the watch list methodology. Why is it important to have a watch list? How can you effectively use a watch list for your club or your individual portfolio? A watch list should include stocks of high interest, stocks that you studied, stocks that you researched, that you were interested in, but you didn't initially purchase them for one reason or another. Uh, related to valuation perhaps. These are often very well run, very well managed companies, but they're probably are looking a little overvalued at the time of the study. And that's to be expected. Highly desirable companies like many of the companies that we gravitate towards using the stock selection guide that many clubs are looking for are only occasionally undervalued by the market. So the intersection of a good company and a company selling at a reasonable, attractive price uh, doesn't happen as frequently as you might like it. You can also think of a watch list as a dream list or a wish list of stocks that you you're, are interested in owning. You can also use a watch list as a placeholder for ideas for future reference, future research that you might doing. Maybe you pick up a tip somewhere and you say, well, uh, I don't have time right now to do a stock selection guide, but let me jot down this ticker symbol, put it in, in a watch list, and then later you can do a more full-blown analysis and decide to either cull it or to keep it, maintain it, follow up, uh, and potentially even buying it. So it can serve as that reminder list uh, that can help your strategy. So maintaining a watch list provides you with a list of potential opportunities. This can be very useful during market corrections or downturns. By keeping a stock on a watch list, by carrying out initial research, you become familiar with that company. And this can accelerate the research process so that when opportunity to buy coincides with your available capital or need to replace another stock, you have a supply of content, of ideas that you can mine for that purpose. It allows you to have those stocks at the ready for quick upgrades to portfolio quality or valuation whenever troubles arise in your other holdings. Uh, I've recently done a couple of presentations about holding on to stocks uh, when you're uncertain or addressing stocks that are in the maybe zone. And that's something that's symptomatic of a lot of investment clubs and individual investors alike, where we tend to hold on to stocks for too long after they've shown signs that they're not likely to meet our objectives. Uh, part of that is because we believe we should be long-term focused. And part of it is the innate human nature that we hate to admit mistakes uh, and we will hold on to an underperforming company in hopes that it will, it will recover even um, as it continues to drop because we know that once we sever the ties with that company, we're gonna feel regret, we're gonna feel pain, we're gonna feel the sadness that our, our investment decision didn't work out. So if you have a ready supply of other ideas uh, by swapping your underperformer with an idea from your watch list, you can mitigate the feelings of, of pain and regret that comes when your decisions don't work out when you're, when you're working on your portfolio. 
So I think clubs should definitely regularly study stocks. Uh, even if you don't have capital available, I think every meeting can include a presentation by a member about an idea, about an industry, about a company, uh, a comparison, a challenge to an existing holding, but constantly bringing in those ideas so that the rest of the club members can get familiar with them. But only by companies when they meet the two essential criteria, that they're good companies, they've got good growth prospects, they have margins that are above average, they have a management team that, that is effectively growing the business, which will drive the share price. But we also want to buy them when they're reasonably valued, buy those stocks when they're when their PE ratios are lower than average, perhaps, or lower than our future expected PE ratios are for that particular company. And at that intersection of quality and value, that's when you get the best investing opportunities for a long-term buy and hold portfolio. So when you have these regular presentations being made to the club and you find those high quality stocks that are not reasonably valued, don't simply discard them, but watch them add them to your watch list. And that way the club will be better prepared when the valuation situation changes because of a market correction, because of the normal ebb and flow of interest in all kinds of companies um, and the resulting price changes that those stocks experience. All too often I hear of, of in clubs that are studying stocks, they uh, present a stock, they like it, uh, perhaps they like the quality side of it, they like the growth aspect of the company, but it's too expensive. And so they say, no, nope, we're not gonna spend any money investing in this company. And then they forget about that company. But the, and that defeats the purpose of doing all that research. And it all goes to waste because you, you uh, cast that particular company aside. You've got to be ready when the price is right in order to make that decisions. So sometimes in clubs, you might have an attractive stock that's presented, but you don't buy it because it overlaps with the club's existing diversification. But again, don't discard that stock. Maybe that will later become a good challenge to your existing holding that's a similar company, sim in a similar industry perhaps, uh, and that will, if something happens to your current holding, you might have a, a good reason to swap another company uh, for that problematic stock that you are is already in the portfolio. It could be that the you someone presented a stock to your club and members had uncertainty, had questions about the company's near-term results. We do often, as better investing members, like fallen angel stocks, companies that have temporarily underperformed. They may have had a bad quarter or two quarters, but the long-term prognosis still appears attractive. In those cases, uh, again, we might want to have a little bit of a waiting period for another quarter to see if things are potentially turning around or if we have other indications that uh, it, the long-term potential does look good. So again, casting the stock aside doesn't allow you to effectively manage those businesses. Oftentimes, a member may come in and present a stock that no one's heard of. And so now there are questions. How does this compare to other stocks that we own? Can we do a comparison to another, uh, several other companies in this particular industry group, perhaps some that you already own? Um, maybe someone has a, a lead on additional research or insight into that industry and says, now what about this aspect of their business? How will that play out if, uh, uh, how will management address those particular issues? And that requires further re research. And so putting it on the watch list reminds everyone that this is still a stock that is under consideration and uh, we will continue to do research to better understand its underlying business. So these are all opportunities where a watch list can be super effective in helping you manage those decisions uh, and then make an ultimate decision about carrying the stock on the list or discarding it. So I propose that clubs automatically make a decision whenever they decide not to buy a stock by asking, is this a stock for the watch list or should this stock be discarded entirely? And in most, most cases, the 
the consensus should be fairly clear after the stock has received the presentation uh, from the member, has had time to discuss it. Uh, if the if the consensus is uncertain, well then certainly add it to the watch list and carry out the further research. If the consensus is this is not the type of stock that meets, meets our objectives, doesn't fit our investing model, then by all means move on to another company. But not every stock has to be watched. Not every stock needs to be on a watch list. But when you forget a stock, then you're definitely losing out on that opportunity. So the watch list can serve an important function in helping keep that the idea spigot flowing within the club. Now within your club, uh, in my iClub, the watch list function now allows members to use their own SSGs and link to them using the Better Investing Online Tools Stock Selection Guide application. Uh, but still, so members can update their own stock studies, their judgment, their projections, uh, the calculation of buy prices, which will flow into my iClub. And we'll talk more about that in just a couple of minutes. But a club may wish to appoint or elect a portfolio manager or even a watch list watcher to oversee the watch list. Um, and uh, we have a permission setting that we'll show you as well so that that portfolio manager or watcher can add, edit, or delete stocks from the list so they can add a stock and assign it to another member or delete or change assignments for who's the individual who's watching that stock. Um, remind members in advance of the meeting not only to update the stocks that they're a stock watcher for, but also their watch list stocks. And also, it's useful to have someone who's always paying attention to the watch list who can report back to the club to say, well, this month, these two stocks appear to be in the buy zone based on the recent stock selection guides. Maybe this is now an opportunity. I would also propose that you consider putting a watch list update as a regular agenda item in your meeting, uh, perhaps after your, your company review section. Uh, and if this is the opportunity uh, for to have that discussion and to keep those lines of communication open about the companies that the club has looked at in the past. So stocks will definitely be removed when you buy them. Uh, so you can delete stocks from your stock list, uh, stock watch list at that point. And you can periodically purge stocks. There are often many cases personally where I have stocks on my watch list and they don't live up to expectations uh, or maybe I didn't have expectations, but they no longer meet my criteria. And so in those cases, those stocks get moved into a reject pile. Many stocks might re remain on a watch list for a very long period um, since they're, they might not be buys at the time that you've got the cash or the need for the stock. Uh, so all those, all those factors have to coincide in order for you to take action. And as I mentioned before, highly desirable, well-run businesses, sometimes they don't get very inexpensive uh, and they might not fall into your buy zone except uh, in a general industry or market correction or uh, on a temporary short-term focused news that might adversely affect the, uh, the company's near-term outlook in the eyes of other investors. So you be prepared to hold stocks on the, wish, wish, on the watch list uh, for quite long periods of time. Now, of course, whenever you make a decision, you need to be uh, sure that the original assumptions are still valid. Now, because the uh, watch list stocks in my iClub can be linked to an SSG using the Better Investing Online tools, we can presume that there is some level of update that the member who's been watching the stock is following uh, up on uh, recent development for the company, updating the earnings. Uh, and so you would definitely want to make sure that those judgments are still applicable, that nothing has changed about the company that would make it less attractive. So continue to review the cur a current stock selection guide and carry out the additional research to determine if the stock really does continue, still meet your portfolio uh, objectives. Now, in a, in a market correction, this is a great opportunity to jump on those watch list stocks. A market correction defined as a 10% or more decline uh, in the broad market 
means that, uh, you know, the saying is that a rising tide lifts all ship, ships, and by, um, by that same measure, a falling tide lowers all ships. So in a market correction, you often don't have an extended period of time to take action on stocks that are reason more reasonably priced than they were a month ago. Uh, so what happens often in an investment club is that market corrections turn into Oh, a crash course in analysis paralysis where members don't want to do anything, fear overtakes them. Um, they focus on the uh, the unrealized losses in their portfolio, the paper, paper declines in valuation instead of looking at the opportunities that are out there. And by flipping the market correction psychology in that way, your club meeting is going to be more effective and you're also going to be able to make take advantage of opportunities. Uh, even if the market continues to go south, you will have purchased at a more reasonable price uh, that will hold up the scrutiny over the longer term. I believe in a challenge uh, swap replacement approach for portfolio management. So often, if in, a, in the case of a correction, you might have the opportunity to swap the number two business in an industry for the number one business in an industry that's always been a little too expensive. And that kind of proactive upgrading of your portfolio can reap benefits down the road for sure. It's always a good idea to upgrade your portfolio whenever you have that opportunity. Uh, and the watch list allows you to take advantage of those opportunities. So now let's take a look at the revised My iClub watch list. This was released in late July, early August of 2023. We essentially threw out the old watch list in favor of a more streamlined version that offers some additional functionality, uh, we believe, uh, that will help it. Um, some of the features of the My iClub watch list, any member can add a stock to the watch list. Officers who have the, the appropriate privileges can add, remove, or reassign any stock on the list or clear, delete the entire list. Uh, stocks can be linked to members' uh, stock selection guides using prepared using better investing online tools. That means that as they update their SSGs for their personal portfolio, for their uh, watched stocks, for the club portfolio, and the watch list stocks, uh, all of those results will now show in my iClub. Um, if the advantage of linking is that you get updated by cell prices, as well as PE, current PE ratio, upside downside ratio, and other metrics. Uh, if you don't link to an SSG, all you see is the price, the time the stock was added, and the percentage change to the current price. There are two views that we have created, uh, a fundamentals view and a diversification view, and I'll show you those. Uh, only stocks will show uh, fundamentals on the fundamentals view, but you can add ETFs, you can add mutual funds, any security that has a ticker symbol in our pricing database can be added, but there will be no fundamentals uh, that, uh, or industry classification, company size classification uh, that you would see for those uh, non-stock securities. Um, there's a link built into Yahoo Finance for additional easy research. You can print and save in PDF format, and the individual stocks on the watch list have a detail screen that shows you the price gain or loss since the stock was added to the price list. So this allows you uh, to kind of see, you know, it's a double-edged sword. On the one hand, you want stocks uh, to go down in price to become more attractively valued, perhaps, um, but that always can be a little trying of your uh, intellect because the stock has gone down. Why has the stock gone down? That raises more questions. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the stocks that go up show that perhaps you were right to think about that stock in the first place, but now it's only getting more expensive perhaps. So it's, it's something that you always have to keep in mind as you're reviewing those. So let me show you, this is the fundamentals view. 
Um, so this is the main view. When you click on watch list, you'll see something net like this now. Um, it's got the stock symbol. It's got the member who's following the, the stock or added the stock. It's got the date the stock was added, the price it was added, and the current price as of the most recent close or as of the price in the linked stock selection guide. Then it has the price change since that date. Uh, green is good. Red is a decline. The date of the SSG, the current PE ratio, the total return percentage uh, that's projected annually, the the relative value, that's the measure of the current PE to the average PE, the upside downside ratio, and the buy price. And then finally, the last uh, column is a recommendation buy, sell, or hold based on the stock selection guide. Up at the top right, you'll see the PDF and the Yahoo Finance icon. On the left side of the ticker symbol, you'll see our little iClub icon. You can click that for some more fundamental research from iClub uh, that is provided. The, uh, and then if the stock is not linked, you see there is no uh, SSG information or buy recommendation, and it says no SSG plus link established. And we'll talk about that in a minute. This is the diversification view. It's meant to provide you with a look at stocks that will help you improve your club portfolio diversification by sector, uh, perhaps, or by company size, uh, as well as the current yield is displayed there uh, for uh, companies that pay a dividend. Uh, so again, just a, a, a pretty streamlined approach. You can sort by any column, so you can find find opportunities if uh, you uh, if you're if you have identified in your club portfolio we need more industrial stocks uh, well then you can sort by that sector and quickly find industrial sector companies and then uh, that can be your prompt to do more research on those particular companies the link to Yahoo Finance, this is not sponsored by, or uh, this is just a function that Yahoo Finance has where we can send them a bunch of ticker symbols and they display a screen that looks something like this. It's got the current price, um, that's the intraday price, as well as the, the high and low price for the date, uh, links if there's any news uh, and some other information. So that's a uh, click on the ticker symbol for more research about the particular company. I use Yahoo Finance because I like the presentation of press releases and news about the company other investors like the analyst estimates so it's a good uh, it's a good research destination for much stock research the pdf report simply is a pdf uh, uh, a document that you can generate that you can save that you can print that looks like the uh, the same columns that are on the page um, displayed in that PDF format. So that can be useful, um, especially to save a version of it uh, for later reference. Because re remember, every month this is going to look different. The prices are going to be updated. So any member can add a stock at any time to the club watch list. You can simply enter a ticker symbol. That's all it takes. After you've added the ticker symbol, you can select a, a stock selection guide for that ticker symbol if you have created one in your Better Investing Online Tools uh, 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 a subscription. Um, you can come back, uh, you know, you can go to Better Investing, do a stock selection guide, come back and add the link to it later in the watch list. But if it's something that you've already studied, you can link to it right away. As I mentioned, if it's not linked, then we only show uh, the, the price and uh, uh, limited information. All the fundamentals are based on having that link to your SSG. And as a reminder, in order to use that functionality, you have to link your My iClub account to your Better Investing subscription membership so that we know where to find your linked stock selection guides. And you do that from the member profile section in the people section of uh, My iClub. Uh, so you can check that out. To add a company to the watch list, simply select it from the menu on the left. There's an option to add company. Um, then you have a screen here. You can look up the symbol if you can't remember it, but you have the ability to just simply add the ticker, click the add company uh, and, uh, button, and then we get a list like this. So I've added Monarch Casino and Resort. 
Um, this is a, a casino uh, resort hotel business in uh, Colorado and uh, Nevada uh, that we follow in our small cap informer. I think it's a really interesting um, small uh, gaming business, very well run, very prudently um, uh, capitalized. And you can see I've got two stock selection guides that I've created there so I can use that, uh, choose one of those uh, to link. Because I am the admin, uh, I can also assign this stock to another member. I wouldn't be able to, uh, to uh, select a linked stock study if I assign it to another member. But if you if you are the administrator of your club, or if you are the uh, have been granted that permission in your club, you can reassign or assign stocks uh, if people are having trouble. Um, uh, Steve asks, what if two members want to uh, two or more members try to link a stock selection guide for the same stock. You can have uh, multiple members can all be following the same stock. They would all have different linked SSGs because they we're only linking to a to your own stock selection guide. So uh, as I am adding this company to the watch list, I only have access to my Better Investing Online Tools SSGs the two that I have listed here. Why do I have two? Well, this is what I do. I test the tools, I'm using the tools, we're using it for different purposes. So I have more than one. Many people have more than one stock selection guide. Sometimes it happens accidentally. You can see one is from 2022 or created in 2022, one was created in 2023. So uh, it's not a problem. Um, and that can be interesting as well. Uh, if you wanted to have all the member, you know, several members up upload their stock selection guide and get a summary of all of their um, their uh, judgment for that particular company. That could be very interesting. Um, so uh, we don't prohibit it. But again, members can only link to their own stock selection guides. So we'll click OK after we've linked it. And now um, the company's been added. Uh, it's got the added price. It's got the current price. It's got the, the name of the Better Investing Stock Study. And again, my tip for your club followed stocks in your Better Investing Online Tools is to note in the name of the stock study that it's for your investment club in some way. Put the name of the club there. And that will just help you differentiate it and not uh, overwrite it with something else. So now the company has been added. If we click on the ticker symbol, we see the detail screen, which looks like this. It's got the same information as the fundamental screen up at the top, but it also has the date added, which I can, can be edited, um, the assignment, who's following it, and the Better Investing Stock Study. And then down below, this is interesting, this is a chart of the stock price since the date it was entered on the watch list. Uh, so in this case, um, AbbV has gone up quite a bit since uh, it was added in September of 2020. Well, what happened in 2020? Well, that's when we were in the depths of the pandemic. And if you had, we had bought that stock at that time, instead of hemmed and hawed and put it on the watch list, uh, it might have been a terrific performer since then. Um, you know, it's almost doubled in price at some points since that time time in a very short period. Uh, so just to give you context to the percentage price change on the detail screen. Now the no SSG plus link established means that the member one may not have a Better Investing Online tool subscription, two, they may not have linked their Better Investing Online Tools subscription to their My iClub username and password in the member profile section of the people page. Um, so they're unable to uh, link uh, to uh, a, 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 a stock selection guide at BI Online Tools, or they might have simply not selected a Better Investing uh, SSG yet for this particular company. So you can always come back uh, and it, add it, edit the SSG, the linked SSGs for your own uh, selections, nominations on the watch list. So in this case, we've got to tell Earl uh, to get his act together and to link to his SSG for the Caterpillar stock because the club wants to know what's going on with it. Um, 
and uh, that all of those right columns uh, have no data in them. That data only appears for linked stock selection guides. There's also a page called My Watchlist Stocks. It's available from the left ne left hand menu. This allows you to uh, see what you're supposed to be monitoring for the club to remind uh, yourself, oh, these are the stocks that I'm following on the watch list. And there are links on the right to go to SSG Plus. Uh, there are links if a stock is not linked to an SSG and also a reminder of what the better investing study name is in the BI online tools. So this is your guide to what you have committed to follow for the stock. So the club administrator can go to the member position and uh, per, the member position and permission section of the club member profiles in the people section, and there is a new option here: the manage voting stock watchers and watch list. Uh, that's new, uh, and we've broken out uh, the voting component as one set of permissions and the watch list and stock watcher assignments as another. Um, so we're assuming right now that you don't have separate people watching the watch list and separate people um, who are monitoring the stock watcher assignments. If there's enough pushback, we can always adjust this, but we tried to keep it simple at this point. So again, this is only the administrator, uh, but uh, we don't want the administrators to have to be responsible for everything that the club does. So this is how this, the administrator and the club can select one person and say, all right, you're in charge of the watch list. Make sure that people update it. Make sure that uh, they're, uh, it, you know, if a member leaves the club, that that stock gets reassigned. Um, or if there's a change because a member has a, another stock, too many stocks to watch and somebody volunteers to take it over, you the uh, watch list manager can go in and make those adjustments uh, you can't as an individual member uh, uh, reassign a stock from someone else and if you're and you can't uh, as an individual member assign your stock to someone else the the administrator or someone with the privileges has to do that and then finally, there is a clear watch list uh, item here that will remove all of the companies from the watch list. Um, again, only the administrator or the member with that uh, with that aforementioned privileges and permissions can do this. It is not reversible. You will see a warning message after you click the yes button, and that is it. It is not your personal clear and it's not clearing your personal list it's clearing it for the club for everyone uh, so uh, keep that in mind as well so if you have any questions uh, type them in anitra says how often should you have to update it um i my standing policy for updating stocks that you own in your portfolio uh, as well as uh, stocks on the watch list is that you update them at least four times a year um, primarily after the earnings the quarterly earnings have been reported and that gives you uh, a good sense of what's happening to the company's business as well as it's a good it's just a good time to review um, uh, the company's progress to date uh, and how they are performing in your portfolio. Uh, within my iClub, we have a bias towards getting clubs and members engaged and involved and at least doing a price update prior to the meeting of the stocks that they're following as stock watchers uh, and on the watch list so those uh you have to weigh those factors uh in your decision uh i just wanted to, to mention uh and go over some of the tools very quickly if you're not familiar with the tools that we offer at iclub central to help clubs and individuals to find and research stocks stock central is our is our broad investing tools uh, we have a screener uh, we have a ranked company lists, a dividend center, a REIT center, detailed company reports, uh, a lot of research there that goes beyond the better investing research that can supplement any analysis that you're doing using the stock selection guide. The stock screener in particular is very easy and straightforward uh, to help you find Castanet 
and find candidates for your portfolio using some pretty simple to understand criteria. For more complex screens, the My Stock Prospector is our full-featured screening tool. My recommendation is that every club have one member who has a My Stock Prospector uh, subscription. It's not expensive, and that member can be doing research for the club, bringing in screens, industry company rankings, um, uh, as well as helping to fill diversification diversification needs uh, for the club. We also offer the Investor Advisory Service and the Small Cap Informer newsletters. These are individual subscriptions. You can't subscribe and share the issues with your investment club. That would be a violation of our use policy. <clears throat> but you can occasionally share a company recommendation uh, that fits the club's objectives uh, and back up your research with the research from the newsletter. Um, so it's definitely presenting ideas every month that fit the stock selection guide. Between the two newsletters, there's anywhere from three to five stocks that are presented in a monthly basis as good quality companies that are in the buy zone. So anytime someone says, well, we couldn't find any stocks uh, that, that look good on the stock selection guide, uh, Investor Advisory Service for 50 years has been presenting companies every month without fail that look good on the stock selection guide. And the track record is that it's outperformed the market over the broad, the long term, as well as over the last three, five, 10, 15, and 20 years. Uh, the lifetime is, uh, 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 you know, 30% better than the broad market on an annualized basis. So it's pretty solid. Small Cap Informer has been doing really well this year to date, uh, and the lifetime performance is, is three times the return of the Small Cap 600 index. So if you're looking for small company ideas, that's where to go. We've got a, a, a promo codes that you can use. Doug's deal will get you uh, the best opportunities on those two newsletters. Uh, I also mentioned that, that I'll be at the Money Show in Orlando at the end of October on uh, presenting a class on dividend uh, dividends in a high quality stock portfolio. And I'm also on a panel where we will be presenting the best stock pick ideas for 2024. If you're in or near Central Florida, um, then um, it might be worth checking out the Money Show if you've never been there before. Uh, we had been going for about a decade during the pandemic. Uh, we uh, dropped off, and so now we're coming back uh, at this one in uh, Orlando. So, uh, well, I see there's a couple of questions about clubs that Russell and Sean have been handling in the back office. Uh, so we'll let those uh, slide uh, and we'll wrap it up here. I want to thank you all for turning out tonight. Uh, please feel free to send us feedback on the watch list feature, as well as other aspects of my iClub uh, so that we can add that to our list of potential improvements and enhancements that we make on a fairly regular basis. Uh, I'm uh, keen to hear how clubs are using uh, this new watch list with the link to SSG Plus, uh, but uh, we've got more features we'll be rolling out uh, to help you and your, your club members build a successful long-term focused portfolio that will meet all of your objectives. Thanks again. Thanks, Russell and Sean. We'll see you all next month at our next iClub Central Investment Club webinar.